for a dag song you know we don't know how lucky we are here and it's um it's quite true and new zealand at the moment is enjoying high profile on the world stage um, the number of people compared to six or seven years ago when i did some work in the states that talk about new zealand that talk about the things we're doing here um, is really is really noticeable it's, it's really impressive and it's just sort of quite motivating to um, you know try and take advantage of that momentum that we have at the moment Well, the first thing probably that springs to mind is um, surfing all over the lower North Island. Um, I was in Palmerston North and had a, had a great time in Massey being able to travel around and, and surf the different beaches. But the, the real thing, I guess, that came through was, was just doing something that I really loved. I felt lucky with the degree that I picked um, and the combination of people I got to, to meet, the, the technical things that we were doing and this practical element that came through that. It was just, um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a really special time, actually. The biggest thing probably is the is what I've seen is the huge difference between how most organisations operate, the norm, the average, and just how much better the really great world-class organisations can be. I was lucky enough that when I was studying, um, I was working at the Toyota plant in Thames, which had gone through a transformation and was recognised as being one of the one of the better operating plants in Toyota, and Toyota's renowned as a, as a world-class organisation anyway. And through Massey, we also travelled um, and visited a lot of different companies and some were very good and most of them actually it was pretty obvious they weren't operating that well so um, I've really been inspired to close that gap as much as possible everywhere I've worked and, um, and now for as many organizations as possible because I can just see just by getting up to that top class level just how huge the gains are how much better the work is for people that work there and how much more successful the organizations can be. Massey, um, I've said this to a number of people, it's almost felt like it provided an unfair advantage. Uh, it was academically really rigorous, but that's a given. Um, most people are, most people I worked with have got those foundation skills. What I got out of my degree at Massey was, a, was a, real, a real practical sense of what it takes to work. Presentation skills, how to run meetings, how to work with groups of other people, and the other things, it's almost like there's a gap that seems to occur between from when you leave school or university and when you work in an organisation, they are the skills that really make a difference. Everyone has the base technical skills and it's those how you work rather than what you do things. And my particular degree at Massey um, prepared me very, very well for that. And um, it's just flowed through um, ever, ever since then and it's been really, really successful. I'm studying an MBA at Babson in the, in the US at the moment which is recognised as the number one school in the US definitely and one of the top ones in the world for entrepreneurship and they are doing things now that we were doing at Massey 12 years ago so again it feels like I've got a little bit of an unfair preparation and advantage. Well I'd maybe be running a sports shop in the Coromandel Peninsula or I can't really say I'd be a surf bum because I actually picked up my love of surfing, the bug of surfing at, at Massey. Um, and neither of those things are bad things, but, but seriously, I really love what I'm doing at the moment and it's entirely because of um, the degree, what I got out of being at Massey. And um, yeah, I'm just a huge believer in lifelong learning and um, continuing that process and going to Massey and university and studying is just something I would, um, I would never want to have given up. Well, I, I think New Zealand's got a, um, got a fantastic future, actually. We, we grow things really well. Um, we've got a real strength in, in agriculture. We've also got, um, we're bound with natural resources, and most of them are very sustainable. We've got a lot of sun, we've got a lot of wind, um, a lot of tide power. And we've got a great education system. You combine those things together, um, I think we've got a bright future, and I really want to be part of um, making that happen and actually getting the most out of it because I think we're just sort of simmering below the surface at the moment and we can really be a, um, be a role model for the rest of the world in those, in those areas and it's certainly where mega trends I guess in the world are heading um, as far as the importance of food and the importance of sustainable energy so I really want to do what I can to help our organisations um, work as effectively as possible and exploit those opportunities that we've got. I think I outlined it a little bit there before, but I really want to um, either help initiate or be part of or trigger, uh, saying the same thing I guess really, a network effect that can, um, 
that can actually push New Zealand on to be become become known as, as a world leader in the area of um, sustainable and highly productive organisations. I think we can be a role model country um, for how organisations and countries in the world are going to have to act into the future and if I can be any sort of a part of helping make that happen um, then I'll see that as a real success. Like I said before, I think it's bright, I really do, and I think we just need to, um, where the world is shifting at the moment, there's a huge awareness of the importance of, um, of sustainability and doing things well and productively and not wasting a lot. Um, so we've got those natural advantages, I think, in food production and in, um, and in energy and, and things that go with that. It's a great place to live, so we can attract smart, bright people to live here and do things. Um, so we've really just got to we've just got to bring it together, and I think there's another advantage there in that you can sort of draw a fence around New Zealand. There's four four or five million people that you've got, um, and we're we're relatively small enough, and and people really enjoy the country. There's an awful lot of people that are passionate about the country. So um, this idea of New Zealand Inc is actually quite a, a real thing. You can if we can get people behind a vision, and um, and get the country believing in a, in a common way of working then we really can actually you know, m make some big gains there. And like I said earlier, if we focus a little bit more on, on how we work and build those skills, it's something that New Zealand could be recognised for as having, we're already known as being really hard workers, we just need to move that up to the next, um, next level and be known as really effective workers. Well, I've probably already touched on it really, the importance of um, of education and making all of this happen is just massive and I, I you know reflecting back on what I got out of Massey I think a real strength that Massey have is has is combining not just the technical expertise and the, and the, the sort of essential what you do but with a um, with a really practical element um, part of my degree we worked a lot with organizations local both in Palmerston North and Auckland and in and, and different areas it was a huge element of the degree and I think that is very very important element and Massey you know have with its foundations as an agricultural and then strong technical and innovation um, components to what Massey does positions Massey very very well to help play a major part in this future I mean what do they say that there's you get education business and government working in the same in the same way there's plenty of case studies from other parts of the world and Boston where I'm at the moment is a good example of that having a really positive impact on the local um, local economy and just sense that people have about themselves. Well, I mean, there's, that, there's a certain sense of identity and I don't think you can underestimate how important that is. Um, knowing that you sort of belong somewhere and you've been somewhere um, is important. I've got a, a really good network of people um, uh, in New Zealand and offshore uh, in the work environment which has basically given me all the opportunities that I've had and 80-90% of that network is Massey based um, and the first I spent some time working for a global consulting company and um, they really liked Massey graduates um, it was a very competitive place so it was even that's the other 10-15% of my network that's really influential I guess uh, um, and so indirectly that came from Massey so being an alum, being an alumnus of a, of a, of a institution like Massey is really important um, and it's something that I'm a little bit inspired to do at the moment is create a, um, a link back to there was a, a Massey professor spent some time at Babson where I am at the moment um, last year and that itself has opened up so many doors for me at Babson and I'm getting opportunities that I wouldn't have been able to have unless I could walk in and say um, I'm a Kiwi and this person was here last year and um, you know I was really greeted with open arms and given extra opportunities because of that so you just can't underestimate the impact of those networks and just being having an identity and being able to say that you're part of something. <laughs> <laughs>